All right, welcome to this episode of the Arizona Thomas Tours. Today I'm heading to South Mountain Park. Never been out there before, looking forward to it. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna drive to the top and take some pictures and show you the view up there, or if I'm actually gonna get out and hike. Just arrived at South Mountain Park. It says the entrance to the park is 0.8 miles up the road, but then I saw some stone places around here, some cars parked. I don't have any idea where I'm at. Whew, but I'll tell you what, the, hot, the smell of manure out here is sensational. Wow, I wish I could bring you the smells of this place. Oh, my sinuses were a little bit clogged up, but um, not anymore. What I've seen so far is some stone buildings. They got a well out there. Uh, not sure what this is. Uh Still trying to figure out where I'm at. Uh, the fresh smell of manure is just overwhelming up here. this place is. It's called Scorpion Glutch Trading Post, 1936, has been placed on the Phoenix Historic Property Register. Alright, let's, let's head up the mountain. Again, overwhelming smell of horse manure because there are these stables here. Must be uh, some really nice trails that you can rent these horses out. They definitely, and I would recommend you definitely uh, take it easy on this road. Uh, there's a car past me, he was going about 45, it's his 25. There's speed bumps everywhere. Yeah. I would definitely tell you to take it easy. This is not a, a place to uh, speed up the mountain. All right, the views are already beautiful. Can't wait to show them to you. Um, I really don't want to stop. I'm going to turn the camera this way a little bit, slow down just a tad. Hopefully that comes in. All right, that, that, was, um, that was my first stop. Uh, the first pull-off coming up South Mountain. Really a, a pretty sensational view at this point. Um, all right, let's go check the rest of this beautiful area out. All right, I think I went about a, another quarter of a mile up, and there's a lot of these little pull-offs because there's these hiking trails, but there's only enough there's only enough pull-off here for like three cars, four at the most. So I'm going to get out and show you uh, show you this uh, this spot, tell you what trails are out here. are absolutely spectacular up here. It's very windy. 
Alright, I don't know how well you can hear me, so I'm going to shut this off because the wind is picking up. <laughs> that guy's riding this bike down there, he's crazy! Alright, let's head up that direction. All right, I've almost made it up to the TV towers. There are a lot of different routes that you can take to get up this mountain. I'm just hoping I remember how to get back down. Oh, that's scary right there. I got these guys flying around this corner on these bikes. All right, we're getting to the top here. Hopefully these clouds stay off so I can get some good pictures up here. All right, only three. I'm the fourth car up here. Not bad. Oh boy, I can see why people don't like to park this direction though. Put the parking brake on. All right, let's go check this out. glass everywhere so you don't want to trip and fall you don't want to bring young people up here you don't want to bring little kids up here because if they slide which you will on this rock uh, they're gonna slide and they're gonna slide into thousands of pieces of broken glass all over the ground up here up here for about 20 more minutes it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful yeah here it comes Ooh, yeah Sun is nice and bright up here they're the uh, towers that you can see throughout all of Phoenix, especially when you're driving on the 202 or the Interstate 10. Since there's only really one other car up here, I'm going to do some uh, 360 videos of the parking area so you can see and, and know what to expect when you get up here. I know you can tell it's windy up here. signal being up here by all these TV antennas preparing to connect 360 cam still preparing to uh, connect 360 cam retrying oh connecting nice 